Welcome back to my channel, The Candy Guy, where I talk about treats for the sweet tooth. Today, I'm going to talk about Skittles. This shirt is appropriate for tasting the rainbow. <laughs> The idea for Skittles started in 1972. In 1973, they were test marketed in Denver, Colorado. And in 1974 is when Skittles went nationwide. Skittles were distributed through Jack Candies, a subsidiary of Mars Corporation. They were manufactured though in the UK. In doing my research, all I could find was this old picture. There wasn't very much reliable information on when Skittles started, where they were manufactured. Just this picture was all I had to go off of. It had Jack Candies on it and said Skittles was manufactured in England. Well, when I was looking up Jack Candies, something popped up, which was really big for us, for the candy store and myself. It was LNS Sales. Doesn't mean much to you, but means a lot to us. LNS Sales is a candy broker. They actually work with us to get a lot of the candy that we have. And the amazing thing is, they give us a lot of information about what's going on in the candy world. <laughs> when I looked at it, up LNS Sales, up popped Stuart Shear, the CEO of LNS Sales. And next to him was a picture of David Shear, who he's actually the broker that we deal with, and he's the president of LNS Sales. So we know him very well. And so David, I emailed him, the son of Stuart Shear, and I asked him, hey, um, I was curious, what information do you have on Skittles or Jack Candies that produce Skittles because that's popping up on my online search, wondering if you have any stories to share. I got way more than I was expecting. So David Shear, president of LNS Sales, emailed me back and said, I have information for you that you will enjoy. I would then told me a little bit of hint that he was one of the first kids to try Skittles. Why was that? Because his dad, Stuart Shear, is the father of Skittles. He came up with it. Let me tell you how. So, Stuart Shear worked for the Mars Corporation. And when he was overseeing production of a certain candy in the UK, the certain candy is Starburst. Starburst, which is produced by the Mars Company, was as he was seeing it being manufactured, there'd be little pieces of scraps left over when the candy was being produced. He asked what they did with those scraps. They said they just reused them to make more Starburst. Well, he asked if they could do something with those little pieces. They were just little shards. And the people there said, let us come up with something and we'll see, like throw it in a panner. Pretty much those circle things that rotate that give the hard candies their shiny exterior coat. So they did that within 24 hours and they gave him these little shards of leftover scraps of Starburst so he could take back to the U.S. He thought maybe we could do something with these. So the original Starburst when they came back from the U.K. they were little shards and I was told they kind of would poke through their wrapper because <laughs> they were kind of sharp. They later evolved into the smooth exterior that is like an M&M and have their yummy goodness of the chewy Skittle that we know today. They were test marketed in 1973 in Denver, Colorado. The company main sweet candy of Starburst was only on the East Coast at the time. So they decided if we try Skittles on the West Coast in one city location, if it doesn't do well, oh well, we move on, <laughs> new candies, no loss. They were successful. Thank you, Denver, <laughs> for the success. So in 74, Skittles were rolled out nationwide. On the name, so the guy who was creating the design for the wrapper and the name came up with a few different name, a few names, but really liked Skittles. And so when he presented it to Stuart Shear, who was the father of Skittles, he he liked that name. He said it kind of sounds like Skillet. Let's go with it. <laughs> I don't know. Like Willy Wonka says, candy doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> so there's Skittles. They're the little round shape with their S on it. And now I understand why they kind of look like M&M's. If you haven't had Skittles, they have that hard candy shell with the inside of a chewy um, sweetness, which is pretty much like a Starburst. Now we know. 
<laughs> Thank you so much to David Shear for sharing all this information with me. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, also I want to add that in 1994 is when the phrase taste the rainbow got attached to marketing for Skittles. Thank you so much for watching this week's video of The Candy Guy. Links for the Penny Candy Store and myself will be in the description of this video. I post videos every Friday. So I shall see you all next Friday. Have a sweet day. Bye. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos, and also share if you'd like. Thank you.